Action. Hello YouTube, my name is Jordan. This is my fourth ever vlog. That's right, count them. Four vlogs so far, counting this one. And this is the show where I will talk about anything that you want. Anything ever at all. And just tweet me right here. That's right, I got it. It's time, right over there. And I will talk about whatever you want me to. Or you could say right down there in the comments. Either or, I will see it and I will talk about it. Since today is Serious Sunday, or, well, it's not really Sunday, because I kind of miss Sunday. And it's actually Wednesday. When this goes up, it might be Thursday. So. Since today is Serious Wednesday, Thursday, I will be a little bit more serious, not as humorous, because I'm hilarious, as everybody knows, right? So now today's topic comes from one of my viewers, and in the comments, Mr. YouTube fan, he wrote to me and said, Is technology good or bad? It depends on what people make it out. Me, I don't have a cell phone, never had one, and do not want one. Not even if I get an iPhone 5 for free. I do not like to be reached anywhere at any time. I do not want the I do not want to have the feeling after thirty minutes not being online. Hmm. Did anyone call me? Let's check. Like if I missed out on anything. Well, I do have an iPod Touch 5 Gen though. I do have two comps and a 3D TV set, ebook reader, etc. I have the feeling that people are too much dependent on these new types of tech. Twitter, Facebook and all the other social networks. Well, Twitter, do I really need to know w uh, what someone does this very second? Going to Walmart now. I'm very bored. Anyone else too? So, do I really need this information? And the question is, is this information useful? What if I don't have it? Do I miss out on anything? What does anyone really do with all the information he gets from other people? Maybe except for family members. So what about you? Maybe you can make a video about your experience and what you get out of all, uh, all what you have, like Twitter, etc. And that is very true, YouTube fan. Do I really need to know when somebody tweets going to the bathroom? It's like, no, I don't need to know that, obviously. And why do people tweet that? Beats me. Or even like, going to the mall with the biffs. Like, no, I, I don't need to know that. That's not something that anybody really cares about besides the person that they're going with and them. That's it. We all don't need to know. And as I said in my last Serious Sunday with, about technology, it's always good and bad to everything, really. And I'm probably going to say that in every single one because there always is. If you think about it, there's never something that is only good or only bad. There's always two sides to one coin, everything. Without Twitter, I would not have a lot of stuff. All of my podcasts, all my interviews, which you can check out right here, came from Twitter. Well, I, d I tweeted them and they said sure or whatever or they respond back. Without Twitter, I would not have almost all my YouTube videos. My video, The Hands Legacy. I made for Show on Hands and Russell Hands and all of them through Twitter. So without Twitter, basically almost all my videos, I might not even have these vlogs. I might not have found out about certain YouTube channels. I might not have done a lot, a lot, a lot of things without Twitter. So really, as bad as it could be, as stupid as it could be, I personally love it because it helps me get in contact with Literally anybody. If you think about it, I could be in contact with Britney Spears. Not that she responds to it, but many, many famous YouTubers, famous anybody, anybody. There has never been that connection with the fans and those people until Twitter came along. Not even Facebook, MySpace. It was never as direct and as easy to get in contact with literally anybody until Twitter came along. Now let's jump over to Facebook. It is going to that route of 
no one using it and becoming a joke. Now, of course, I do have tons of family that use it, and Facebook is very good to get in touch with really any of your family. If you have family that is a few states away, across the world, across the United States, it's that easy to get in touch. You could do video chats, which not a lot of people use, but you could still do a video chat. You could chat them. You could see all their pictures. You could. It's a perfect way to get in touch with family. And the creepy thing is it's also very, very in-depth with friends, with the check-in feature. You could see exactly where people are at a certain time. That is really creepy. You could see their birthday, any, almost all their information besides their, like, where they live, which some people actually put up where they live, is there. Anybody can get to you, and that's where people are kind of turned off by it. But if people know how to use it right, then I think it would be very close to all good. But people don't know how to use it right. And some people just use it stupidly for their thoughts that nobody cares about. Basically their diary. So what do you think? Do you think that most of social media is just stupid uh, going to the mall or just stuff that nobody cares about? Or do you think that it actually has a really good purpose? What do you think? I would like to know. Tell me in the comments. Tweet me at Jordan S. Walters. And you could give me my next topic for the next whatever vlog. Serious Sundays or my Friday vlogs or whatever. And uh, thank you. See you next time.